take a couple of good, long, deep in and out breaths, and then try to pay attention to your breath. We often talk about watching your breath, but it's more feeling the breath. Where do you feel the breath? And think of it being all around you. It's a full body process, because when you breathe in, the whole nervous system is involved, just as some parts are more involved than others. So try to think of the whole body breathing in, the whole body breathing out, and find a rhythm that feels good, a rhythm that you can stay with. If you stay with a rhythm that feels good for a while, but then after a while it doesn't feel so good, you can change. I'm trying to keep on top of things here. You want to give this your full attention, because as we work with the breath, it gets the mind more and more settled in the present moment where you can see it clearly. And that's what we want. And John Fung said it's like it's like catching eels. If you go into the mud and just try to grab all of the eels, they slither off every which way. But if you find something they like, and he said you find a dead dog, you put that in a jar, and then put that down in the mud, then the eels go into the jar, and then there you have them. It's not an attractive image. Thinking, but he's this is an image for getting the body comfortable. When the body is comfortable, the mind will be more inclined to want to stay. Then you can watch it, see where it's going to go. Because as the Buddha said, we suffer because of our ignorance. And it's not ignorance of facts like the orbit of Jupiter or the chemical properties of, of water, what molecules go in the water. We can be ignorant of that. It doesn't matter. But the problem is we're ignorant of what we're doing. The mind makes decisions, and part of it knows and part of it doesn't know. And we're not fully aware. All kinds of things can happen in the shadows. So we're trying to bring light to every corner in the mind. So whatever decision is being made, you can be there for it and decide whether it's something you really want to follow through with or not. Shine the full light of your attention on your breath. Full light of attention on your body. Think of the breath and the body as being one. And the mind will come and want to be one with them as well. It will settle down. And if there are any other disturbances in the mind that want to get out of that oneness, you'll see them clearly. Then you'll be able to do something about them before they get big. The greed, anger, and delusion come in little tiny, little tiny forms, like little tiny insects they seem, little tiny seeds. But some tiny seeds can grow into big trees. So you have to watch out. And things that look like little insects can turn into big birds. So just because something is small doesn't mean it doesn't have any power. King Basenity came to see the Buddha one time. This is when the Buddha he was newly awakened. And he basically said to him, What right do you have to say that you're awakened but older people are not? And the Buddha said, There are four things that you should not be complacent about four little things. One is a little fire, because it can turn into a big fire. One is a little tiny snake, because little tiny snakes can have a lot of venom. Third is a little tiny prince. If you mistreat the little tiny prince, he's going to remember that. When he gets older and becomes king, then he's going to search you out. And then he's a tiny contemplatives. By that he meant young contemplatives, because sometimes young contemplatives can have have awakened. I mean, there are cases in the canon where seven-year-old kids have awakened. We could add a fifth thing to that list, which is little tiny defilements. They start out small, but they can go really big, take over your life, become addictions, ruin everything. So you want to get them when they're small. And you do that by being fully aware right here. This is how you protect yourself. So whenever you have the chance, try to develop this full body awareness, making the breath comfortable throughout the whole body. And then watch, feel, fully sense what's going on right here. And you see a lot of things you didn't see before, which is the whole point of the meditation. In particular, you see the things that when you change where you're doing things, it can make the difference between suffering and not suffering. 
That's something you really want to know.